Hey guys, Sinister Cinema 1990. Um, today's video is going to be another pickup video. Um, I s recorded all of the four parter series. Um, I'm just lazy. I need to pick a day when to upload part two and then just upload the other um, parts sporadically throughout the week. But these ones I got recently, so I'm going to show you these first so I could um, give you guys a video because it's been, what, I think, like three weeks since you guys seen the video. So, yeah, like I said, all of the parts, I think it's like four, I think, yeah, four or five parts, I think it's four, have, have already been shot. I just need to upload them and then... Yeah, but for today, I'm just going to show you what I got recently. The first one I didn't get recently, I got last month. Um, oh, that always happens. Um, when I went to San Antonio, I went to a Goodwill. And this was surprisingly just $2.99 for a TV set. Um, but I can kind of see why, because it's kind of broken. And so I am going to have to rebuy it, because you know me. When it comes to slipcovers or boxes, they have to be pristine, and this one's broken, so I am going to have to buy it. But anyway, because I think I have the first season on DVD, but I've moved like a lot, so I don't know if I have it or if it's somewhere else. But anyway, it is CSI Season 4, yeah, the fourth season, and the reason I'm saying that it's broken is because... The slap is broken like that. But other than that, I checked the discs. They're all minty fresh. They're all fine. It's just this. So, technically I could just get like tape or whatever, but you know, that's not me. I have to get it brand new. I gotta get it. I, I just can't have this. So, yeah, I just got it because I went to... Um, Goodwill and San Antonio, and they had a bunch of season sets that were cheap. Like they had the first season of Friends of the the French, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I was about to get that one because it was two ninety nine, but then I saw this one. I'm like, I'm gonna get this one, but I should have got the Fresh Prince of Bel Air because that one, it the box wasn't broken or anything. But yeah, since I already had the first season, that's why I, I picked this up. But yeah, I, I bought this last month. I just forgot to show you in my the four parter <laughs> um series or whatever you call it. So on to the Blu-rays. Um, this the first one. I'm not. You see, I have a bunch of Blu-rays, so I don't know if I showed you this in any of the parters that I shot. But I'm just gonna show you. And it is the Blu-ray of Colombiana with Zoe Zadana. She plays Gamora on um, Gardens of the Galaxy. Um, yeah, I saw this when it came out in 2011, I believe it came out. Um, yeah, 2011. And I'm pretty sure I did show you in my other update because I remember talking about this movie. Um, but yeah, it's a good movie. Um... Like, is, is it the greatest? No, but it's still Zoe Saldana being badass. Um, so, I got it, and I gotta support my fellow, um, well, I'm, his, I'm Hispanic and Mexican-American, so I'm Latina. Um, and, I don't know, I would say she's a Latina, so, yeah, I gotta support my fellow Latina, so, yep, that's Colombiana, or... Colombiana, whatever you prefer. Um, this one I should have showed you in my my update, my the four parter that I'm showing you. Um, but I guess I missed it. Um, and that is Fracture with uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins. Do you call him Sir Anthony Hopkins? Even though it doesn't say Sir here, or just Anthony Hopkins, but. I've heard people call him Sir Anthony Hopkins, so I'm just going to go by Sir Anthony Hopkins. And then Ryan Gosling. 
basically this movie, um, um, Anthony Hopkins' character, he is charged with murdering his wife, and then Ryan Gosling is a lawyer, and he has to prove whether um, Anthony Hopkins killed his wife on purpose, or if it was an accident, like Anthony Hopkins is claiming. Um, at the end, it, it's just the the way it ends, it was just so cool, because you didn't expect it, you thought something else was going to happen, and then it didn't. It, it's just a great, underrated movie. I loved it. And when it first came, you know me, my slipcovers have to be pristine. So when I saw these two lines right there, I got so mad. But then I realized um, they made it that way. It's part of the Blu-ray. Like, it's not... The, it's not old or anything. That's how they made the Blu-ray for some reason. So anyway, that's Fracture. If you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor. It's a good movie. And then this one, I, I finally completed my series. And that is Hostel Part 3. This one, I did not enjoy. This one, they set it in Las Vegas. Excuse me. And, um, this one, they, like, auction off people so people can torture them, I think. And the second movie, they do that also, but this one, they really hammer it up, and I, I just didn't like it. But, yeah, but I just bought it because I needed to complete my series. Excuse me. And, um, this is a UK release. But as you can see from the back, I don't know if you can see right there, it's region A, B, and C. So we can watch it in America. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with me. Um, but yeah, this one for sure is the weakest out of the franchise in my opinion. Um, my favorite is the first one. Um, you can't top the first one. I just, I just love the first one. It's just amazing. That's why um, I got the still book of it, which you're going to see in my, I think it's part four. I think that's when I show you the still books um, that I have. But yeah, but now I own all of them. Um, I don't like this movie, so I have no plan on opening this up to watch it again because it's not good. Um, the only thing is, it does come to commentary, and I... I'm a huge buff for commentary tracks. So I'm going to have to open it. Just to hear the commentary. And then these two I got today. Um, um, this one I'm going to have to rebuy. Because my slip covers have to be pristine. I'm very anal when it comes to that. Um, and you'll see in a minute why I have to buy it again. And that is the extended cut of... We are the Millers, or we're the Millers. Um, in the front, it looks fine, right? But in the back, it is torn. And I'm an idiot. I did not look at the pictures. <laughs> I Before you buy something, you should look at the pictures before you buy it. But I was just so happy that I found it with the like, tickler cover that I just bought it automatically. And it was cheap. But then when I went back and looked at the pictures after I bought it, I'm like, oh no. So, yeah, this pisses me off. It, it, it's going to annoy me. So I'm, I am going to have to rebuy it. Um, but this is, it's funny because this is brand new. It's just, it's torn right here for some reason. So, yeah, that's Weird Millers. I've never seen this movie. I heard it's funny though, um, so hopefully I can rebuy it and um, it'll come with a like a better slipcover. So yeah, so I can finally watch it. But yeah, that's where the mirrors on Blu-ray. And then this one's also brand new. It's a TV show. It's a Blu-ray um, that I've never seen, and that's the complete first season of Homeland. And I really wanted the Blu-ray. Um, because they have the DVD 
for cheap, but you know me, I prefer Blu-ray over DVD any day, so with any series, I try to get the Blu-ray, so I finally found it for a decent price, brand new, on Blu-ray, so I picked it up, so yeah, I, like I say, I've never seen this series um, either, um, but that's it guys, um, like I said, this one, I'm pretty sure I showed you in the updates that are coming that I still have to upload. Um, but I just showed you that because I'm not 100% sure. Um, so, and then this one I got last month uh, at Goodwill in San Antonio. And that's the complete fourth season of CSI. Um, like I said, the discs are perfect. There's no scratches on any of them. It's just, this thing is broken. So, it, it, I, I shouldn't have even bought it because of this. But, um, I am going to have to rebuy it. So, anyway, that is it, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, my, the fourth quarter, it is coming. I just have to, um, figure out when I'm going to upload it. Because I'm, like, super lazy. Um, so I might go on Netflix go watch a movie, prefer preferably horror, and if I like it, I will try to review it. I know I haven't reviewed a movie in forever. Um, I did want to review, um, when I watched it, um, Jeepers Creepers 3, but that one, I unfortunately, um, stopped watching it because his... I stopped watching it when the Creeper got his truck back and he was on top of it and the truck just drove off on its own. If you've seen the movie you know what I'm talking about. His truck they made it seem like the Batmobile. Like what the like seriously, like he had gadgets all over his truck. I'm like, what the first the, the first movie and the second movie, his truck was a normal truck. And then this truck is high tech what the actual like like, it just annoyed me. So I turned it off, but I was planning on reviewing it, but I couldn't um, watch it because um, it was, like, too much for me. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. And um, I am expecting a couple more Blu-rays, and those I will try to not open them. Um, I'll try to, I mean, I'll open them, but I mean, I'll try to open them on camera. And the last thing I got, this one I can't open because this seller always fucking does this. He says me the poster, right, but he, oh, I don't know, let's see. He put, he staples it on both sides. Right there. And then right there. So, it's like, I don't have a, those nail to take the nails off. I don't have one of those things. Um, so I'm gonna have to try to put like a knife. Um, that's what happened with I think it was like a the ladybird poster, I think. Um, he he punches like he puts staples. I have no idea why. But this is um the sucker punch um poster. It's the same size as these two. It's an 11 by something. Um, but, um, did I show you my address? Damn. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, once I get it up, I'll show you. I'll, I'm, I'm thinking of taking this one out. The uh, Scarlet Witch. Uh, the Scarlet Witch. Damn, I'm, I'm not an MCU fan. Um, <laughs> Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow. Um, just because... The controversy of Scarlett Johansson. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just she. She keeps taking these roles that she shouldn't take, and it's just pissing me off. So, I'm just gonna replace it with Sequence, my favorite non-horror movie. And um, I did try to find this one in this type of size, but they all came from China, and I'm not about to wait a month to two months for it. I'm just not. This one came from a seller from the US so that's why I got it. Um so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and um yeah look out for the four parter 
and um this other updates in general and you might see the return of movie reviews so I'm not gonna promise anything but I'll at least try so this video has gone long it's gone on long enough so um thank you for watching and um I'll see you guys in another video bye